Hello, YouTube land. It is I, Alex Payne. Welcome to the Chaos Asylum. And tonight, I am a little late, but I'm doing my WWE Smackdown review. And then right after this video, doing my WWE Payback Predictions. So stay tuned to that. So, with SmackDown, it kicked off with your WWE World Heavyweight Champion coming out. Coming to the ring, pretty much talking about AJ Styles, and what I'm still calling the Bullet Club, Gallows and Anderson. He pretty much just said, uh, I know you guys are still are boys, you brought them into the WWE. Uh, I don't need this person, I don't need that to watch my back, but it seems like you pretty much that's what he's assuming, that you need someone to watch your back, and AJ Styles is badass. So then he calls AJ Styles out to pretty much say, hey, I want to know face-to-face -face if these guys are going to try to screw me over a payback, if you guys are in collusion together. So, who comes out? None other than the WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, with his wife, Maurice. So then they're in the ring, they're cutting a promo back and forth, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, finally, finally, someone has seen it my way. And I found it first. I seen that the Gallows and Anderson were helping him out, and he didn't want to admit it on my show. And he ran his mouth like normal, got punched in the mouth, rolled out, and whatnot. And then Roman said his normal Vince McMahon catchphrase that he did. And then he picked up the Intercontinental Championship, and he's like, here, take it, take it, Maurice, come on. And he's like, hey, nice to meet you. Hands it to her. There we go. Uh, a couple of matches that I can remember off the top of my head. There was the League of Nations. Sheamus, Rusev, and Alberto Del Rio versus any team of three. They pretty much did an open challenge. So who answered that challenge? Kalisto, the United States Champion. Sami Zayn and 007 himself, Cesaro. So this match went back and forth, you know, da da da. And then you can see the collusion and the arguing going against the League of Nations. They go back and forth, tag in, tag out, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They're arguing, getting mad. First person to leave is Alberto Del Rio. He's gone. So it's two on three. And then Rusev and Sheamus are just fighting, tagging in, tagging in, da 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 what not. Then Rusev gets out. He's like, you know what, I don't need you. I don't need you. He left. So it was one on three. Pretty much, the League of Nations broke apart. And the winners of the match was, of course, the United States Champion Kalisto, Sami Zayn, and 007 himself, Cesaro. And then it went backstage. They were fighting some more. Everybody pushed everybody. He's like, you know what? I don't need you to. And the League of Nations is done. So we saw the implosion of the League of Nations. Uh, then we saw the Ambrose Asylum. And before we got to the Ambrose Asylum, he was cutting a promo. And pretty much he was saying that, you know, that uh, Jericho took me, put me on this table and he put me in the walls of Jericho. One of the most painful moves I've ever felt in my life. His only mistake was... That he let go. He said at payback he is going to be going at Chris Jericho. And there's not going to be no crowbar. No jaws of life. No referee that's going to be able to pry him off of Chris Jericho. Then he's like well I got to switch hats now because I'm a wrestler and a talk show host. So then he slid into the ring and he did his Ambrose Asylum. Introduced Natalia. Natalia came out and cut a promo. Uh, and when I'm saying Bret Hart's going to be in her corner. Which, you know, Bret Hart, I guess, has had surgery on his wrist now. And then his cancer. So there's that. Um, and then yesterday, I guess Ric Flair busted his head open at an airport. So so this is going to be kind of interesting to see now since they're both, you know, I guess incapacitated. But they'll probably still be out there. I'll talk about it more in my predictions video. So then the WWE Women's Champion came out with her father, Ric Flair. They were cutting a promo back and forth, Natalia and Charlotte going back and forth, and then Rick's all like, yeah, sure, bring him out. He's like, I beat Bret Hart in WWF. Well, WWE, pretty much. <laughs> and I beat him in WCW, and if Fitz would allow it, we would, if we had a match, on, a match on the moon, we, I would beat him on the moon, too. And it's like, Rick, dude, have you been, uh, 
You're getting up there in age, aren't you? You're like hell timers and everything's kicking in. Jeez. Man, I'm telling you. Whatever. Then, we go to the main event, which was The Miz, the Intercontinental Champion, with Maurice, versus the World Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns, with AJ, excuse me, AJ Styles, out there on ring, at ringside. No headset, he was just out there playing out, studying Roman Reigns for their match at Payback. So, it didn't take long for things to escalate and, like, go bad. Like, Roman was beating the crap out of the Miz, like normal. Like, burying him, pretty much. <clears throat> You'll get that term if you're a big wrestling fan. Uh, he throws him out of the ring, does his drop kiss, drive-by drop kick. Uh, Roman goes over to AJ Styles. They both stand up. He's like, what? You want to do something? Go for it. Do it. Do it. Distracted him pretty much. He uh, Then a Miz came from behind. Smashed his face off of the announce table. Smashed him into the, the metal post. Threw him in the ring. Went for cover. Uh, then he started, you know, dominating for a little bit. They went to commercial break. Came back. Miz was still beating him up. And of course, he was going to go for a skull crushing finale after his uh, kicking him in the leg. And trying for his DDT. Then he tried for the Skull Crusher finale. Did not happen. Um. And then he did his uh, Superman punch. And, no, he did a running spear. Uh, got the three count. And then AJ slid in the ring. They went face to face. They were talking stuff. And then AJ looked over Roman's shoulders like, oh shit. So then here comes Gallows and Anderson down the ramp again. And then Roman just jumps out of the ring. Starts beating them both up. They start beating him up. And then AJ's pretty much like dead center in the middle. And they're over here beating him up. And he's like, I'm not doing shit, man. I'm not doing shit. The Usos come out to take care of uh, Gallows and Anderson. And then uh, once they do that, AJ spins around Jay Uso. And he's like, hey, man, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not, uh, calm down, man. He knocks AJ down. Then AJ gets pissed and Pele kicks his ass out of the ring. Uh, and then Roman gets in. And Gallows is like, man, it's okay, whatever, whatever. He pushes AJ out of the way. Takes a spear. And then AJ tries to go for a Styles Clash. Roman reverses it out on the outside. Tries for the Phenomenal Forearm. And then here comes Roman with the Superman Punch. Nothing. So he just had a stare down. And pretty much. And he's like, oh, you need your boys? Come on, let's go. And he threw the WWE World title down. I said, come on, get in the ring. Come on. And then that's how SmackDown ended. So tell me in the comments below. Did you like SmackDown? What was your favorite match? What was your favorite uh, promo for the night? And, uh, what not. So, oh, and one more thing. The funniest thing ever was when the New Day took over on commentator team. And it was Big Kaz and Enzo Amore versus the show Sorrel Outclass, Bo Dallas, and <clears throat> Curtis Axel. And the Von Villains were up on the rampway. And, of course, you know, Big Kaz and Enzo won with the rocket launcher. I believe that's what they call it. Uh, and whatnot. So, there we go. That's that. Pretty much it was... That's it. So, leave your comments down below. What match did you like on SmackDown? What do you guys think is going to happen at Payback? Leave it in the comments down below. And if I can, real quick, I want to send a shout-out to my boy. You know who you are. You know who you are. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Hey, hello. You know who you are. Your name is Clusterfuck. You heard me, ladies and gentlemen. I have a friend, and his name is Clusterfuck. And we're going to do a video about the old school <clears throat> wrestling and compared to today's wrestling. Because he likes the old wrestling with Sting, Ultimate Warrior, and people like that. I like that, too. I kind of like today's version better, too. Uh, not better, but I like it, that, uh, you know, a little bit. But I do like the old school stuff, too. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for more of talking about wrestling with Alex Payne and Clusterfuck. So leave a comment. Hit the like button. And if you haven't done it already, smash that subscribe button. Deuces.